You oh. might not know his face, but you you know his work. <laughs> We're talking Albert Knobs most recently, the, the Academy Award that you're nominated right. for now, Dracula, that you've won the award for before. Right. You look around, you see Indiana Jones, we see Schindler's List, we see Frida, and all these crazy bodies. That's right. So this guy right here, this this is the guy that I saw when I walked in. That's right. And this I thought was he was done, real. Yeah, this was done for us uh, an episode of CSI. Okay. We've is been on CSI for eight seasons. So we do all the dead bodies, and which you'll see in a little while. Oh, will yes, we? Yes, well, why don't you show us in? You will. Why okay. don't we go see all these dead Come bodies? This is our lab where we actually do all of our work. Yeah, as you can see, you know, our faces of, of actors. We, we've taken probably 90% of these face casts. The other ca face casts we've traded. Uh, oh, I want this, you know, we trade right. like trading cards. Yeah. And then do you, do you have to redo them every couple of years? I mean, facial features change a little bit. Yeah, about every five years, you know, depending on plastic surgery and right. stuff like that. <laughs> oh, yes, we are in Hollywood. That's we true. are yeah. in Hollywood. This is our silicone room where we do Y incisions for NCIS or CSI and gelatin. These, these particular ones are gelatin. And then these are silicone. And what's the difference between silicone um, and gelatin? Gelatin won't stand up to a lot of perspiration. Okay. And silicone will. Silicone's very durable. It's got a plastic sienna on the front and the back. This is an eye bruise that would go over the eye. Uh -huh. If you go back into here, oh, you can see Jamie pulling some pieces. And those are the pieces that fit on to the cheek and to make them look older. Oh, yeah, I hear your specialty is aging. Yes. Aging, character work. So like how that. does it work for aging? Do you, do you take a picture of someone and kind of see, are you able to visualize this is what they'll look like or do you use Photoshop because I know there's those techniques well, you can use? Yeah, I use Photoshop, but I've got a lot of knowledge of facial structure and stuff like that. Mm. So I just analyze it and see, okay, how are they going to age, you know? And sometimes they'll bring pictures of their mother or father in. Okay. So genealogy is a, a lot to do with it. Let me show you some of the appliances and uh, the molds that we use to recreate the prosthetics for Janet and Glenn. This is a mold of Janet's nose, Janet McTeer's nose, mm -hmm. right here. And then once we get this mold, I sculpt a, a nose to her liking on it. She wanted a broken nose for her character. Okay. So I had to sculpt that on there. And then this mold is taken of that. Once it's pulled apart, the clay is pulled off and you have a void in between the two. And silicone is poured down in there and we get a silicone nose every time. So we can pull as many noses as yeah. we need to. And we do all of our silicone work back here. This is a mold. This is actually Glenn Close's mold. Oh yeah. From the movie. This is her full face cast. Oh wow. If I turn it, you could probably see. Yeah. See that right there. So that's her face, and then we did one of Janet Matier also that we worked out of. It must take time to get to this level. Like, how, how did you get to the level of face casting? It does. Her, making all these her face cast was actually done in New York, and then it was sent to us. And then we take what's called a master mold of that, so we have it pure, so we can pull ears out or noses right. or whatever need, needs to be done out of this. And then this is our master mold that we can pull faces out of. And this is actually the face cast of Janet McTeer. Oh, right. yeah. and how long have you been doing it for? Uh, 33 years. 33 years. Yeah, what is the best part? part? Um, every, every show's different. Every, every project that comes in is, is different. It's a, it's, a new, it's a new chance to try something new. It's a new chance to, to up the bar mm -hmm. in, in making a character. And it's just, it's just fun. It's creative. It's like getting your hands in mud when you were a kid. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll walk in here. We do Wicked the Broadway show, and here are moles that are made for the uh, Scarecrow, Dr. Dilliman, uh, Dr. Dilliman here, that's the uh, conductor, and mm -hmm. the monkeys right there. So, uh, Alexis is working on the horns for the, uh, yeah. the conductor, and Mio's oh, getting that. something to huh. paint, paint Dr. Dilliman. A mask usually uh, lasts probably about nine months. And then, it, uh, hey? and then they turn it around because all the sweat and yeah, you know, day and day out, warmers and stuff like that. Yeah, and um, we can go down to uh, storage now if you'd like. Love to. Okay, yeah. let's go. Area, don't be scared. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those. Yeah, right uh, off the bat. Quite, quite a few heads here. 
Look at all. These are male heads. There's female heads, but there's some male heads mixed into it for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Sometimes we reuse the body, so we just cut the head off and just lop them up on the shelf. Yeah. <laughs> and then this was a head for one of the CSIs. It looks just beautiful with all the hairs all punched in one at a time. Lynn one Watson, at a time. One at a time. Yeah, that's why it looks so realistic. That's crazy. Is it real hair or is it yeah, it's makeup real. hair? Oh, okay. No, it's real hair. Wow. <laughs> Bodies and different projects. A lot of hands and arms. It would, you could just come over to the area. You want a hand here? Yeah. And uh, this is all oh. if we needed for all of our autopsies. Flat intestines. If you needed to lay over somebody's uh, chest, yeah. that would be flat intestines. We've got the heart, the beat. <laughs> Another autopsy body here that was done for CSI. He had, oh yeah, he had taken oh. air and blown into his chest, into a uh, wound, thinking he was going to clean it out, and it just inflated his whole stomach. Hmm. And then when it went down, the skin looked crepey and old. And then they had to cut it open and see it's all sticky. Oh, gooey, that's great. So. That's exactly what it should look like. <laughs> exactly. It should look sticky. Look at that. All sticky and gooey. You must see all the good. craziest things. It'd be like I do. People actually, because I hear they get their, at least as CSI, they get their stories from real life for the most part. They, they find the stuff in newspapers. I know, and I cannot <laughs> wait every time, every week when I get a new script. Yeah. Like, what are they going to come up with? <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes they give us a, a, a heads up if it's a big episode. You know, we got to make about 20 bodies or whatever. Right. But, yeah, it's, it's very fun. As a kid, uh, I always loved monster movies. Uh, and so I had a love for makeup, you know. Right. And I, I moved out to Los Angeles in 1977, went to the Joe Blasco Makeup Center in 1978. There's a lot of other schools out there, but Joe's is the best. And I graduated from there, started teaching there, and then just started getting jobs on my own. And he would recommend me for jobs, and it would just you know, it would just snowball after that. That's amazing. It was, it was great. And also learning from other people. You know, you can, you're never too old to learn things or young or whatever to learn things. And, and that's the best part of this business is that there's always new things coming out that you can learn. So we'd like to do something called five questions. Five yes. quick questions, one word answers. Yeah. Where do you keep your Oscar? I keep it in front of our television at home. Nice. Yes. Lennon or McCartney? Linen. What's your favorite prosthetic? That I did? Yeah, that you've made. Uh, probably goes to Mississippi. James Woods? James Woods. Nice. Old age. Uh, film you're most proud of? Albert Knobs. Nice. Oh, good answer. You're thinking. <laughs> and in one word, Matthew Mungle. Um, humble. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I really much. appreciate it. This Thanks. has been absolutely phenomenal. Thank you very much. And, uh, appreciate it. I think I'd like to get into this one day. Yeah. This would be fun. Yeah. Well, let's get to your body and we can yeah. <laughs> get started. Yeah. Very good.